Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two, where Art Kirsch and I are with the lovely and talented and extremely knowledgeable Dr. Liz Lister. Dr. Liz, great to see you again. Likewise, thank you. Hi, Dr. Liz. I, uh, as you know, I uh, get sort of impressed with commercials that seem to be showing up all over the place, making kind of claims about everything. And as a lifelong dieter, um, uh, up and down, and I've tried the Weight Watchers and the, uh, a whole number of them in my lifetime. And what I found that works for me uh, uh, over long periods of time until I fail and then do it again is intermittent fasting. But I noticed uh, there's a new diet out, uh, unlike uh, the Weight Watchers and uh, some of the others that they they have uh, food things for you. Uh, Marie Marie Osmond, one of my favorite. I forgot the name of the thing, but anyway, she makes a great presentation. But this this um, and I haven't seen it too much on TV. I see in print mostly. This uh, uh, and there's there's Noom, which is very popular with a lot of people. But Golo caught my attention because it's one that uh, pushes a supplement with it. And uh, as you know, I'm a I'm a, uh, a, a supplement hawk, and uh, I it always raises my curiosity when somebody say, "Well, you take this magic potion, and this wonderful thing will happen to you." Can you give us some sense of what uh, <laughs> uh, this is all about? Just, just, just I'm not saying it's legitimate or illegitimate. I'm sure it works for a lot of people, but can you give us some yes. background as to what this this Golo is all about? Yeah, oh, that, absolutely. That kind of diet. Thank you. Yeah. Well, first of all, I really like what you said of different things that have worked for you. That's really what it's all about in the end is figuring out for an individual to figure out what works for them. All right. And the Golo diet is very interesting. So first of all, it's definitely a diet. It is doing what a lot of diet or I'm going to say eating programs do, which is focusing on insulin resistance. And I'm gonna tell you that is the correct place to focus. Okay, the whole discussion of overweight and obesity is now turning and being there's things being renamed that relate to metabolic dysfunction. And that's really what's happening in those scenarios. So to talk about the GOLO program in particular, it's looking in the right direction, which is looking at insulin resistance in terms of the foods the whole foods. So there's other programs. There's the whole 30. There's the mind diet that we've talked about. Those are all similar Mediterranean ways of eating the Mediterranean diet that etc. All right. So that's the first part of what they recommend. The second part of what they do is they spell it out in terms of meal plans, which is very helpful, very helpful. It's one thing to tell people here, eat from this list, but it's still possible to eat too much. So this program helps people determine quantities, meal plans. It's just a lot easier when you can map out your whole, your day and your week. And it ends up around 1300 to 1500 calories per day, which is pretty good. That's not low enough, it's not like a keto. It's not putting people into a fat burn state necessarily okay for some people it will put them into a fat burn state and they're going to get very nice results okay but it is a little bit lower calorie than the average the average meal eating is considered to be around 2000 calories per day which is a lot that's more than probably a lot of people need so a little bit lower calorie intake and that's probably part of the reason people succeed with the program and then last but not least is their supplement that you touched on. It's called Release. That's the name of the supplement. That's what they call it. And so I took a look at it. I took a look at it. It has some really interesting ingredients. Uh, of course, it's proprietary blend, which I don't like that. I like them to be able to say how much of the different ingredients are in there. But that's giving away their formula, so they're not required to do that. Uh, but we do see the ingredients. So some of them are minerals, zinc, magnesium, chromium. Chromium is a mineral that has been studied on its own and shown to help 
calm down cravings, which then can help work on weight loss. So we have some minerals. We also have berberine. We did an entire video on berberine. And that is an ingredient in the release supplement. It, it is a plant derived supplement that helps with insulin sensitivity, which is good. We want that. Uh, rhodiola is another ingredient in there. Rhodiola is considered an adaptogen for the adrenals. Very helpful, very important. Uh, lots and lots of benefits from rhodiola. It's been studied a great deal on its own. So that's an ingredient. And then there's some other plant extracts. These were extracts I had not heard of before. But again, they're making their own blend in order to be able to have their own, uh, I'm not sure if it's a patent or a, their own formula, and to be able to produce the release supplement. That's that's what the Golo program consists of. And it ends up being about sixty to one hundred and twenty dollars a month, which I believe is the supplement. I believe the only cost is the supplement. I'm not sure if they have any support, any online support. I did not see that. Uh, but we know that following a specific plan is really helpful to most people rather than just giving them a list of foods. And then the supplement, We've talked about the placebo effect before. It's really difficult to assess. And that supplement has so many ingredients in it that it's really gonna be a little while until anybody does a study just on that specific, if ever, on that particular supplement. That's what that particular diet consists of. And if people turn to the list of foods for good healthy eating, I would imagine I don't think I've had patients, I've had patients ask me about it, but I don't think I've had any patients who've told me results on it just yet. But there's no reason that it wouldn't be helpful. Then the question to what you said earlier would be, how long does it last? What are the, what's the sustainability of the weight loss? Yeah, that would be no different for, between this and any other uh, diet plan, uh, which we know has a high, uh, fail when I say failure rates, it may be successful for a while, but that's right. For most people, they receive back, uh, and I've, I've had enough of that in my lifetime because you stop following it or whatever it is. So well, let me ask one last question. So, is there anything in this release supplement that would be a, 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 a mental condition that people might say, "I better check with my physician," who probably doesn't have a clue? What's in this release thing? Is there any contraindication of people with uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, or some other thing that they should perhaps be wary based upon the um, ingredients in the supplement, or is it pretty benign? Yeah. Well, okay, that's a very good question and a very important question. It's probably pretty benign. However, as we said, for example, the berberine, we really know that that does work in a lot of people to lower their blood sugar. So if a, someone's diabetic and they're on diabetic medication, then it's very important to be sure that they're keeping track of their blood sugars, being keeping careful track of how they're feeling. And like you said, it'd be good to let the doctor know that they're starting them on it. That way they can be in communication in case they're having any issues. But other than that, it, it, it's hard to say if it would really, I, I would not say it would be contraindicated for most people, but they definitely want to keep an eye, especially as people lose weight. It's very important to keep in touch with your doctor because your doses of diabetic medication, blood pressure medication, and some other medications that we do the dose based on your weight. If you're having, I had a patient recently who lost 34 pounds and I was not aware of what she was working on. I mean, I knew she wanted to work on that and I was delighted. However, and, and now she was not on blood pressure meds or diabetes meds. She came to me before it got to that point and then everything we were doing was helping her lose weight. But that's a, definitely a significant weight loss. Once people have lost 5% of their body weight, 10% of their body weight, we know that the blood levels change significantly usually in a good direction. So it's very important to, at a minimum, stay in communication with your doctor. Great. Well, thank well, you much. Good job. I was just gonna say that's good advice for any diet. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, that's right. Okay, so for our audience, um, uh, many of whom are looking at diet programs and so on and so forth, uh, <laughs> we try to uh, bring you the uh, the me. skinny on uh, these uh, new programs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I got. It. Did I get away with that? Yeah, I'll leave that then. You did. Uh, and um, uh, uh, just explore more. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people think about it. Is it nonsense? Is it not nonsense. Not. I'm not talking about goal necessarily, but lots of other things. So, in any event, um, thank you for uh, giving us some more information to think about, to discuss. And as always, if you have a question, because your personal uh, um, uh, makeup. That you should speak to your doctor before you start any program or let them know what you're doing because your set of medications, your particular history that is known by your doctor can be very helpful. So I think we're going to take a little break now. And, so I can uh, sneeze? Yeah. Absolutely. But <laughs> but a good sneeze. We want a good sneeze and then we'll back. I got it all sure. out. That's the important thing. Oh, good. Then we can stay on for another hour. But it's, yeah. you know what? We'll take a break anyway. So thank you, Dr. Liz, for uh sharing that information with us and we look forward to uh, the next time and discuss some of the things that help us live longer healthier lives thank you amen you are welcome for more on celebrating act two visit our webpage follow us on facebook subscribe to us on youtube and tell your friends celebrating act two is the user manual for the second half of your life